almost over 40 pounds. So I went from almost 200 pounds to 155 pounds. And I'm gonna show you how I did that. For my very first setup between 10 to 15 pounds, I was very meticulous about how I did this. And it's that I stopped drinking anything other than water. And when I say anything, I mean juice, soda, any fake sweeteners or any of those like liquid drops, I had solely water. That was all I would ever drink. And that alone flushed out so much of my system and I burned so much fat just from that alone. And I've been able to keep that off for the last couple of years as well. So it does work very effectively. And that's usually one of the first things that people will tell you when trying to lose weight is to cut out sugary drinks. That is gonna be the first step to weight loss and probably the easiest too. There actually is a saying that the best medicine is preventative medicine. So that means that your health, you take care of your health before you actually get sick and have those diseases, the ones that you can prevent the most. So let's say, for example, high blood pressure. If you're eating a lot of salt, a lot of fast food every day and whatever other snacks like chips every single day, you are eating a lot of sodium and that later on could lead to high blood pressure. And that's something to talk about as far as having that preventative medicine. So next for me, I eventually, I would say a couple more months down the line, I really started thinking more about my health. I was walking a lot more and at some point, a couple years down the line, I just said to myself, I am tired of feeling the way I feel, looking the way I look, and I just want a change. I remember one day it being so bad, I was walking and my thighs would rub against each other and it would be painful. And for me, I didn't like that. No one likes that feeling, just doing normal everyday things and having pain behind it. So at that point, I really knew, okay, I really need to make a change within myself to start losing some weights. I'm gonna give you a quick timeline of everything. So my start weight was actually 191 pounds. 10 to 15 pounds was when I lost weight just from drinking water and leaving sugary drinks behind. That next segment where I had my thighs rubbing, I was 178 pounds and I was highly uncomfortable. So there were a couple steps that I did to lose weight and what I did will not be healthy for everyone, but it's what worked for me and has helped me and maintained me from the start weight from where I am now. So one of the first things I did was I exercised almost every single day. It did not matter what type of exercise, I just did it. I mostly did focus on cardio because that's what I knew at the time. So I did running, walking, the elliptical, and then I would do dancing. I would do a little bit of weights, mostly body weight exercises, but overall everything I did was very much so cardio based. The next thing I did is I focused on the foods that I ate. I started to eat less fast food and ate more foods from home. I didn't make such a huge and drastic change with that. I just stopped eating as much processed food just because the calories were higher and when I'm home, I knew what I was cooking and what I was eating. I still had processed food every now and again, but mostly it was what I had made from home. What I made from home were meals like chicken, salad, rice with cabbage, pork and beans and franks, Mexican food, 
again anything really i could make from home so i could just get those cravings of the processed foods out of my system for me personally ever since losing weight i feel 10 times better i can move around more i have more energy i'm happier that's all from losing weight and now i am to a point in my life where i'm at a comfortable place and i have been doing weightlifting so i've gained a lot of weight which we'll go into a little bit so i've gained muscle and that muscle has converted or a body comped into fat so i did do a body recomposition and i have gained quite a bit of the weight back but again it's been back in muscle and if i can remember if i could find the picture but i'll show you what i look like at about 170 pounds pre weight loss and then recomping my body with muscle to what i am now and i'll show you the difference between that but overall back to what i did to lose weight so once i did all of those steps combined i had end up becoming 155 pounds that was my low weight that i had reached and i was that weight for a couple of years and then as of last year is when i started weightlifting and that's how i gained the weight that i am now which is back to 170. i do want to get to a point where i do cut some of the fat because i do want to be able to show off my muscle but as of now this is what i've been doing and i actually did have my first competition as well which i'm so proud of myself so one of the goals that I had to do for the competition was to bench press 65 pounds. I did not realize that I was able to do that. And all the times I had bench pressed, I was bench pressing about five pounds and that was on a really good day. So five pounds plus the bar that I was using was 45 pounds. So that was 50 pounds but I was able to bench press 65 pounds and I was very happy with my results. And weightlifting has honestly changed my life even more in addition to that weight slash fat loss that I've had. If you have any other questions, feel free to DM me on Instagram at fitbuddyforlife. And if you're trying to lose weight, just know that it is a process and it can even take years. No one talks about it, but weight loss or just changing your body, whether you wanna gain weight, lose weight, just the journey overall of changing your body, it can take many years because a lot of people are not consistent. Life changes and also just figuring out what works best for you. It can be a really confusing journey, but once you are in a regimen, you'll get your results much faster. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. See you in the next one. Like, subscribe, share. Bye.